Hello, my name's Grant Kirkman. I'm doing a video series recently about uh, mental health and how I'm dealing with my mental health or just going through my mental health and the things I've learned through my experiences of being quite mentally unwell for quite many, many years and wanting to explore the mind to be able to have the perspective of understanding what it means to potentially get better and what it means to resolve these terrible feelings that mental health can create. Um, I wanted to, today to talk about um, how unpredictable mental health can be and this video for me feels more for people who potentially don't understand mental health or don't get it to the point of the, peop the people who, who get it quite severely like me. Um, how unpredictable it can be. For instance Sometimes it feels like it can come out of nowhere. Um, you might wake up because if you're if you're quite um, gripped by psychological issues, uh, i.e., anxiety, depression, whatever the case may be, all of them. When you well, for me, when I wake up, I uh, I first kind of feel like, how am I? How am I doing? kind of thing and for instance today that I woke up feeling great I woke up feeling literally great um, I woke up feeling amazing um, I I really felt great and because I I had been in bed for a day because I got this paralysis thing where my whole body went paralyzed for a while and yeah, because I realised I didn't have that and all that, I th it really helped. And then the mental health side of it creeps in. And because I didn't accept it, I kind of tried to potentially ignore it. Or I never even gave myself time to evaluate how I was at that moment. I kind of was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then the next thing happened, and then I, the next thing happened, and I could feel like I was feeling a little bit worse, and I was thinking about things that I potentially shouldn't, because I knew it was going to hurt me. But I never stopped and thought about it, or stopped and meditated, which I will do after this, I'm going to meditate. But um, I didn't become present all day with it. So it really got bad, and... It brought up so many emotions like loneliness, which is a big one for me, um, people not liking me, um, how am I, how is my life going to get better, um, t just to be honest, will I uh, ever get, get it back. Um, many different things that really got to a point that crumbled me, and I did a video before this one and I got like a minute in and I just stopped um, and I think that in some respects there's two things that attempt, that can help me when these things happen one is like I said evaluating it or meditating putting yourself in the present allowing yourself at the immediate time you realize you're not feeling psychologically okay to not ignore it slash go into it to stop, be present, evaluate, or to meditate, to do something that you know is going to inevitably help you instead of indulging in the blackness of it. Um, yeah, yeah, I think something you forget because the um, your emotions, especially when they're so extreme feel like they're covering you and you feel suffocated by them and you feel like anything you do except ignoring except ignoring them is going to flare them up potentially so you try and ignore slash leave which is you trying to create an a naivety which isn't real and um i that's a big lesson for me today um to not to not ignore and to embrace and accept, not embrace, not embrace, but just to accept and know what the disciplines in my life are to create 
it being better because honestly i i really see like people you might think that i'm depressed right now or you might just be depressed or anxiety ridden at that moment people feel it they can see it in your aura i mean like the way you present yourself they really can and i felt that with my family um i feel it like when i'm doing good they're they're happy for me subconsciously you can see it when i'm not they feel it so yeah i think the conclusion is um to not allow myself to indulge in it or jump into it or accidentally go on this like roller coaster into it um do the tough thing and and acknowledge it and accept it and and i potentially meditate or put yourself in the present Alright, thank you. Bye-bye.